Hey, good morning. It is March 18th. It's Saturday morning. And we had rain last night. Some wind with it. Rain's pretty good. We don't have a rain gauge, so we don't know how much we had, but it's going to clear off here the way it sounds. And so we've got some odds and ends to do this morning. Let the road dry out, and we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Sounds good. So I noticed there's something red on your plate, but I'll ask Jack what that is. This is one of Richard's pancakes, but with strawberry flavoring. The first bite, like it's just in this country, sometimes the first bite you get the full flavor, and after that it goes away. Like when drinking fan milk, that's what I got this pancake. Sorry, I'm not using my silverware. I promise mom raised me better than this. <laughs> just, I just want to show you what it's like and all of its awesome glory. Morning, Cal. How you doing? Hey, you. Oh, we're making a video. And, uh, I'd say the only thing to make this pancake better would be put some more vanilla in it to give it that crunch and that caramel flavor and texture. But besides that, we love our cooks and we love our job. All right. Thank you. The pancake is red because of strawberry cake mix. Now, cake mix honestly doesn't taste the best, but it's because it doesn't have the processed sugars that we have back in America. Like, I can go on and on how good processed foods are. Like of course they're unhealthy, but just they taste the best. This was processed American strawberry cake mix. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. This would be the best breakfast ever, ever, but just, yeah. Still good food. But, but uh, Jack, normally our pancakes aren't red, right? Oh, no, this is a strawberry pancake. Because they ran out of white flour? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a rare pancake. Okay, special. Usually we have white. Slightly undercooked, too. Yeah, it's but it's good. All right. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's awesome. Here's one of the gravel trucks. They're using to the gravel the road. We'll see more gravel as we get down there. All the workers. We have a big roller here. They're going to pack the road. The grader. We got product here. We're going to get going and such. So. We're good. So this is Samuel on the right and Kwame on the left. These are two of our uh, hired, hired guys. Uh, they're out uh, helping Matt on the backhoe with rocks, sticks, and filling in holes. You guys want to say hi? Hi, hi, hi. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> so Matt's on the backhoe. Everywhere we see flags at, either there's a rock or a stump or a hole that needs to be filled in. And he goes through and uh, digs them out or levels them out, however, depending on what it is, or it gets picked up. There's Van over there on the tractor with uh, the row cultivators and the tires behind it. It's been doing a pretty good job leveling out. Here comes Andy now. This is kind of the before over here and after right over here. So Andy's coming through now. Uh, then after we get some of this stuff buttoned up, we're going to go through and uh, put the planter on and see if we can uh, get some acres done for the day. They tore the bags open. They just tore the bag open. That's not right. Show them how to open it with a string. Uh, actually, don't put them in 
So, we're trying to get the planter plates to match up. We're up the shed here, it's the 18th of March, almost said the 18th of April. And so we've got a lot of help looking over Andy's shoulder, trying to figure out the book. All right, Van, what day is it? March 18th, I think. March 18th, Saturday, and we are planting corn. We're not gonna be able to get much done tonight because we have a meeting at 6.30 but it's coming a long way. We are finally planting corn. We're gonna check population, look for fertilizer, but just, it's beautiful. It's finally happening. And he's getting ready to lower the planter and we're all making oh, yeah. adjustments to it. Just that far. There's a, pile, there's a pile of dirt on this row. I got back up for him, yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm making some adjustments to the planter now. Just trying to see what we can do to make it work better. Are some too deep or some too shallow? Yeah. You got it, Matt. What? As the sun sets, keep going. As the sun sets on Saturday the 19th? 18th. 18th. Um, had a great day here today. Got a lot of people doing a lot of good work. Uh, got a lot of uh, middle tillage done and some finished tillage done, and got the uh, rub a little dirt on your face to make it look like you've actually been working. Yes, yes. Ah! Some of us are fortunate enough to be able to sit in the air-conditioned cab. The skilled workers work with hydraulics and cabs. The unskilled workers are just driving tractors today. So. <laughs> no, like I say, I had a good day today. Um, just getting started planting corn. Uh, looks like we got the planting depth uh, set up right. Fertilizer spacing off to the side looks like it's sitting good. Need to tweak the uh, plant population a little bit the way it looks, but uh, we're planting corn for the first time in Africa. Some boys from Minnesota. And Iowa. And Iowa, excuse me. Didn't mean to leave you out, Jack. And Ghana. So, great day.